Shalom, my friends from here in the Holy Land. I want to answer this month's Ask Yael from David Robertson, who wants to know what is the BDS boycott and what can we do to help against this boycott? And that's a wonderful question. The truth is BDS stands for Boycott, Divest and Sanction. And their aim is to completely ostracize Israel on a everyday human level of citizens. So that it's not governments that are only boycotting Israel and sanctioning Israel and telling Israel what they're doing is wrong, but every single citizen in the entire world has the ability to get their voice heard that they stand against Israel, that they don't like Israel, and that they won't invest one penny into Israel. The BDS movement is uh, what I think a very anti-Semitic movement that gives everyday people their ability to spew that hatred against Israel in practice, to affect Israel not only politically but economically, to not buy any Israeli products that are made specifically within the West Bank. Now let me tell you a little bit of implications of this BDS movement. One of BDS movement's greatest success is something called SodaStream. They found out that SodaStream, which is a little uh, device that any person could have at home that turns water into seltzer, uh, it was getting very popular. And they found out that the main hub, the place where these SodaStream machines are being produced, is inside the West Bank. And so the BDS movement started a huge movement against SodaStream because they have their factory in the West Bank. People boycotted SodaStream. They felt it economically very strong to the point that they had to close down their factory in the West Bank and move it to somewhere else. Yet you know what this means on a human level? SodaStream was the largest employer of Palestinians in the world. There were hundreds of Palestinians in the West Bank who relied on that soda stream uh, factory in order to work and bring home money every day. And because of the BDS boycott, these Palestinians are now out of work because they had to close down their factory. And so what I'm saying is that this is not a war against Israel in support of the Palestinians. It's a war against Israel because of anti-Semitism, because they hate the Jews and because they hate Israel. And even if it means that the Palestinian people will be uh, in a worse position because of this boycott, they don't care as long as Israel is hurting. What you could do is raise Raise your voice for Israel. The fellowship is the opposite of the BDS. We take individual voices that stand with Israel and we bring them collectively, Jews and Christians together, millions of supporters of Israel, to come to the Jewish people and say, you're not alone. There might be BDS across the world, the UN, the EU, the Arab unions, all the different governments might be against you, Israel, but there are millions of individuals, Christians and Jews, that stand together in your support. God bless you from here in Israel.